everyone, it's Lynn here from In The Kitchen With Lynn. Today I'm showing you how to make strawberry crumb bars. And the description box below is going to get every detail that you need. So don't you forget to subscribe, press the notification bell, and give my video a thumbs up. Let's get started. What you'll need is two cups of flour, three quarter cup of granulated sugar, half teaspoon of baking powder, one egg, quarter teaspoon of salt, half cup of butter, one pound of fresh strawberries, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Now I'm going to sift the flour into this mixing bowl. Now add the sugar with the flour. Then the salt, also add the baking powder, and just combine everything. Now I'm going to add the butter. one egg and mix this well but guys I'm gonna tell you something I have to go in with my hands all right if I don't use my hands into the flour I don't get the right feel of it and I don't think I'm doing anything without putting my hands into the flour use a fingertip method and make sure you just crumble them together you want them to resemble fine breadcrumbs it's definitely crumbly looking, but that's fine because we're going to use this for the topping. When you squeeze the mixture in your hand and it holds together like this, this is how you know you get a very good mixture. Now I'm going to separate this mixture into two equal halves. Use one half for the topping, which I'm going to add some granulated sugar and also some cinnamon powder, which is gonna bring out that lovely taste. Guys, anything cinnamon, I love. Mix it thoroughly and set that aside. Then I'll use the other half to make the base. So I'm using an 8 by 8 inches baking dish and I'm going to line it with parchment paper. I'm going to also use the half of the crumb mixture that I did not mix with the sugar and cinnamon powder for the base. Now I'm going to use the bottom of the glass just so that I can evenly flatten out the mixture into the pan. I'm also going to use my fingers to make sure that I press the edges and it is firmly pressed into this dish. So now it's time to cool my strawberries. I use a very sharp knife and I slice them like this. You can also slice them into cubes. Now pour the strawberries into a mixing dish and add two tablespoons of cornstarch and quarter cup of granulated sugar and mix them until the strawberries are evenly coated. Now at this time guys, I'm so upset with myself. My battery died. I did not realize that I wasn't Fleming. 
so I did place the strawberries onto the surface of the base and now I'm sprinkling the other set of crumbs that I did mix with the granulated sugar and the cinnamon powder right over the top so please forgive me for this anyhow you had to understand that the strawberry was meant to be between the two mixtures all right at this time i did set my oven to 300 degrees you can also bake them at 3 to 350 degrees Place them into the oven and let them bake for 40 to 45 minutes or until your crumble topping is beginning to turn a light golden brown color. Now they're done and these strawberry crumb bars are going to be so soft when they first come out. And in fact, you want to be able to cut them and pick them up like any other dessert bar. So you're going to want to wait until they're cool and when they're completely cool, cut them into squares and this gave me nine pieces of bars okay so these strawberries crumb cake pie bar what you want to call it are made with buttery shortbread like crust and crumbly topping look at this guys they are filled with a vibrant strawberry jam like filling and now we're going to serve this is what my strawberry crumb cake looks like guys and you can serve with whipped cream or you can also use some ice cream this makes a really good dessert so give this one a try i really want to know what you think and thank you for watching i will see you soon enjoy <music>